Once you've turned 18, you might feel like it's time to make some decisions about your future. There are many options available to you, with university being one of them. There are, however, many misconceptions around higher education. So let's have a look at some of the most common ones so that you're aware of the facts. There is a set time limit on how many years you have to pay back your student loan. True. Currently, your student debt will be wiped if it's not been paid back within 30 years of graduating. Student loan repayments are taken in huge chunks as soon as you finish university. False. Firstly, you don't need to start repaying back what you owe until you have graduated and are earning over £21,000 a year. And even then, you only need to pay back 9% of your earnings over that £21,000 amount. The amount is relatively small, so it won't hit you too hard at the end of the month. It costs more to study abroad than it does in the UK. False. It actually costs less to complete part of your degree abroad. You can also apply for loans, scholarships, and grants to help you cover the travel and living costs. You might even want to look at completing the whole of your degree abroad. For example, in Germany, where there are no tuition fees at public universities. It's impossible to work and study for a degree at the same time. False. Just because you have a job doesn't mean that you can't keep on learning. Some universities offer a part-time option for their courses. Part-time courses allow you to study and keep up with other commitments that you may have by giving you less time to study a week. However, this does mean that part-time courses will take longer to complete than full-time courses. For example, a standard three-year course full-time will probably take you about five years to complete if you do it part-time. You can also take up a part-time job whilst at university to get a little extra money in your pocket. Just be sure to balance your time well so your university work doesn't suffer and you still have time to enjoy yourself. You can still go to university without having A-levels. True. There are many qualifications that are accepted at universities. A-levels, BTECs and NVQs, just to name a few. Some courses ask for GCSE qualifications at grade C or above, usually in maths and English language and sometimes in science and languages, depending on the course. Check the university entry requirements by looking at their prospectuses to find out exactly what you need in order to study a specific course. As you can see, going to university isn't just for the rich, for those who have decided their career paths already, or for those who have three A's at A-level. It can be for anyone, as long as you are willing to put 100% effort into your application, your studies and your future, then university might just be the right choice for you.